B, it's for Batty Man. <gasps> Can I say that? There was a time within black culture where everything you found funny or you wanted to insult your friend, just to a mild level, you'd put Batty before that. It could be a Batty Man, a Batty Lord, a Batty King, a Batty Fish. But we are older and wiser, and we realized that we were very flippantly being homophobes and making fun of the LGBT community. That being said, I'm very tired that we, as a community, shoulder the blame for all homophobia when we have been instrumental in pushing the agenda of the LGBT plus community. Gay Pride was started by a black trans woman called Marsha P. Johnson. First openly gay NFL player was Michael Sam, and he's black. And finally, the first openly gay country and western singer turned rapper is also black, and that's Little Nas X. Did I leave out RuPaul? I wouldn't freaking dare. We have been incremental in pushing a positive aesthetic for the LGBT plus community. Let's not act like the whole vernacular doesn't come from black women. Think about it. What is the national anthem for the LGBT community? It's Raining Men. That was done by the Weather Girls and they black. I would like to personally say, big up the Batty Man them and the trans them. <gasps> can, can I say that? Because we say man's them. Should you say trans them? I'm not sure. I think, I think that's okay. Like, do you remember that time they banned all of those dancehall artists from coming to the UK? That's not freedom of speech. It's digging a hole now. Can I say digging a hole? Is that a pause moment? Ugh.